Hello, I'm John. I'm the Warhammer modeler. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Necromunda Hive War box game. It's the third Necromunda box game that's come out with this release. The first one was Necromunda Underhive, then Necromunda Dark Uprising. This is a, what I presume, a starter box for those who are getting into the game, or if you already have the game. Two more gangs and scenery and possibly the updated rule book. But we'll get inside and take a look. So first thing, opening it up, full of plastic. Let's have a look at what we've got. So the first sprue we've got here is objectives, booby traps, barricades. This has been in all of the versions that have been released and I think you can buy it separately as well. So no surprises on that one. We then have some of the scenery. These are the walls. So we've got three sprues of the wall sections, which is quite nice. You can buy these separately. They did come out with Dark Uprising as well. Always nice to have a bit more terrain. Our templates. So we have our Flamer template and our Blast templates. Our gangs. So in this release, we have Escher versus Delac. So there is our full Escher gang. This is just the standard sprues, no upgrades or anything which have been released this week as well. So this is just the standard Escher sprues. We then have the Delac gang. Again, just the standard sprues, which you can get separately as well. Some more terrain. So these are the columns that go with the walls. So we've got four of those. Again, came out with previous releases. Nice little bit of artwork with Welcome to the Underhive and a selection of things that are available for Necromunda. We then have our instruction guide for everything. So this has got the Eschers, Delac and scenery in it. All the bases that you're going to need for the gangers, the different dice. We have the cards. So let's have a quick look and see what is in these cards. So we have so we have our blank gang of cards that you can fill out for each of your gangs. And then we have tactic cards. So these are all generic gang tactics. So no house specific ones, which means everyone will get a chance to use those. We have our range ruler. And then here we have our underhive rule book. Let's open this up and have a look. There's a few other things in here as well. So we have our tokens, cardboard tokens. We have our quick reference sheet, two of those quick reference sheets. A fold out gaming mat, so the terrain can go on there. What would have been nice in this is if it actually included maybe two of the plastic tiles for the Necromunda terrain. I mean, it's nice having the printed one, but it could have been nicer to include two of those plastic tiles. And here we have the rule book. Now just quickly skimming through this, looks like we've got background, then we've got the general principles of play, and as we go through, so it's got basic rules for the Escher, basic rules for the Delac. 
It also has rules for the Goliaths, Orlok, Cordor, and Van Sars. It then has a few scenarios. So these scenarios actually look like they're designed to go on this smaller map that you get with it. So it's a quicker version of the game. So it does say on the back of the box it's a 45 minute game. So slightly smaller playing table means you get to have quicker games. And then we've got our weapon rules at the back. So just on this brief opening and unboxing, looks quite a nice set. Great for beginners. It's got everything that you need to play and then the rules for other gangers. If you want to expand the game, you can then buy the other Necromunda books that are out on the specific gangs and everything. But everything that seems to be in this box is pretty good. You get two full gangs, you get terrain. The little baseboard, as I said, it'd be nice to have plastic tiles rather than the fold-out one, but that's all right just to have this as a starter. If you've already got Necromunda, like myself and many others, it's actually quite a nice set to get to bolster your gangs, a bit more terrain, and also have this updated rule book. I'll have a read of this. Overall, I think it's quite a nice box set. If you haven't got into Necromunda and you're thinking of getting into it, it's quite a nice set to get. If you've already got Necromunda, it's quite a nice set to get just to get a few extra pieces. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this quick unboxing. I've been John, I'm the Warhammer Modeler. Stay safe.